Here I am at Mount Vernon, George Washington's home, in front of this incredible espaliered apple tree to talk about AI and the future of programming. Why here? Well, I think there's a real lesson. 250 years ago, almost everyone, even the President of the United States, grew a lot of their own food. And now very few of us do. So the lesson can be that with more mechanization, more technology, fewer people do a thing and are put out of work. But there's an opposite pattern. Think about literacy. 250 years ago, not everyone was literate. And it was the province of, back, we'll go back to the Middle Ages, uh, priests and scribes, and perhaps even at the time of Washington, of uh, uh, basically a very small class of educated people. And today we have millions and millions of people who are reading and writing and producing content. Just look at the fertility of content creation on today's internet. And now imagine the same for programming. Each time programming has gotten easier, more people do it and they find more things to do with it. It's much more like speech. In fact, I like to say programming is speech with computers. It's how we tell them what to do. And the more people who are literate in that speech, the more programming there's going to exist.